Hey guys, Principal Comic Book University and Captain America, Sam Wilson, issue number 23. Guys, we get to see how all of this stuff actually happened with Sam being able to use an underground railroad. He's literally using an underground railroad. <laughs> no, legitimately, it's a subway. He's basically finding a way. Uh, what do you call it? There was uh, something with uh, Doctor Strange a while ago. Some group that Cap used to run with uh, and what's his face? The uh, Demolition Man. All right. All these guys, they, they, they knew these people. I don't know what this story is from. It might be made up for all I know, but probably not. Knowing Nick Spencer, probably not. Anyway, it comes from somewhere, and there's these guys, they practice with magic, and a dimensional spell wind up sending an entire subway line out of New York City and into rural Montana and all the way up into Canada. So, yeah, very freaking interesting, all right? What basically happens here is that Sam had found out about where it actually went. So by doing that, it turns out that um, all the Inhumans are actually hiding out there for a while, and Sam just keeps coming back until he's able to get them to where they need to be. Well, he has an arrangement with the Mole Man because it goes through some of his territory. Not surprising. Basically, if it's if you dig a hole past five feet, you're in Mole Man's territory. So, you know, it is what it is. So the rule was supposed to be that no uh, Avengers, only civilians are supposed to be able to come by. Well, Sam broke that considering that, you know, whatever. Now, there's a lot of comedy here, and it's really cool. I, guys, uh, sorry, Mole Man is one of my favorite quote unquote bad guys. All right. I love the mole man. He could just be an absolute dastardly son of a gun. If you if you make him the right way, if you write him the right way, he is awesome. He could be funny. He could be cruel. He could be, you know, just just dangerously smart, you know, a lot smarter than a guy who lives underground should be. But regardless, so they're able to get through, but then dreadnoughts attack. Okay. They're able to get rid of them with a cave in, but Mole Man's not having us. He says, that's it. Our arrangement is off. So he's not cool with that. I mean, uh, Sam Wilson, he's not cool with that because now all these people who he promised he would help out, he can't help out anymore. And the main reason why this happened is because the Avengers jumped the gun and attacked these monsters that they saw hanging out there. Yeah, not cool. And 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 here's the thing that really, really, you know, is going to grind your gears is that Tony freaking Stark... All right, the AI, he decides, say, oh, none of this is our fault. It's, we couldn't have known about the dreadnoughts. Oh, and he doesn't even comment on the monsters. That's the thing. Nothing is ever Tony Stark's fault. And even though all these other Inhumans are pretty much screwed at this point, Tony Stark's saying, yeah, but, uh, you know, mission, we got to stay on mission, okay? Like, you know, th that's neither here nor there. That's not our problem. You have to, you, we, we told you we need to get here. We're, we're, on, we're on a zero clock, all right? So, yeah, 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 yeah. Frickin' Tony Stark, man. Anyway, they go and they meet up with Misty Knight, and she's got a, I don't know if it's a Quinjet or some other kind of a, a shield-looking uh, flying machine contraption that's going to get them the heck out of Dodge. And they use that, and they start going towards Brazil. Once again, Tony Stark says, yeah, I made a fudged on the details with that Brazil thing. We got to stop off in Antarctica and fight uh, Henry Pym, the Ultron, which you already saw this week in Secret Empire issue number four. So, yeah, guys, I'm going to give this comic an A minus. This was really fun to read. There was just the right amount of comedy and suspense and surprise. This is how such and such is happening. I'm kind of hoping that this Montana Underground Railroad thing is going to continue functioning in the future some way, somehow, because that's actually kind of interesting. And, you know, I'm trying to think to myself, does Nick Spencer actually hate Tony Stark as much as I do? I'm wondering because I just I can't stand the guy. I can't freaking stand the guy. I'm reading both of his comics right now because he's not technically in it. But anyway, yeah, can't stand the guy and just what, what an absolutely horrible person. <laughs> this isn't our problem. Wow, what a jerk. All right, guys. Anyways, I'm going to let that go. Professor Bill, Comic Book University, class dismissed.